Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to Chaos and Order, Art by Susan Holt. That's me! Happy December 7th, 2022. Um, tonight, I am super excited because I am going to paint for you, but I'm not going to paint one of my normal uh, paintings. I'm going to do something a little different, show you what I'm working on. Uh, before we get there, though, a little bit of housekeeping. If you can hear me, go ahead and comment for me. If you are watching in replay, thank you very much for watching. If you're here live with me, thank you for watching. You see Chris is here. Um, somebody else is here. They haven't popped up quite yet. But I got two people watching. Heck yeah. So uh, if you are watching in replay, I do go back and make uh, comments and reply to your questions. So if there are any comments or questions, because I'm not seeing anything coming through, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get those. I see Linda is here and Patty Jo is here. Hello, hello. Um, hey, Chris, have you made a comment on there for me yet? Okay, so I am not seeing comments tonight, so I will... Uh, get back to you as soon as I am finished uh, with the show this evening. So down in the bottom right hand corner there's those thumbs up button and the little heart button. If I say something you like give me a thumbs up. If I say something you love give me a little heart. See Errol is here. Hello, hello. Uh, and of course give me all the comments. Give me all the questions you got. I absolutely love when I get the comments and questions from you. It really does make my day and I get to provide you with a lot of information that you might not otherwise have. So thank you in advance for that. Now, before I get started on the painting, I would like to show you uh, a piece of art as I usually do. So I need a little bit of cooperation and teamwork here. So I need you to type in yes, Y-E-S. If you need a painting that is, uh, or if, if you, ooh, let me start over. Boy, that was rough. Sorry, type yes, Y-E-S. If you want less stress in your life this holiday, just Y-E-S. This painting is a perfect focal point to bring you less stress this holiday. You can meditate to it. You can look at it and breathe to it. You can make an excuse that you have to go check on the painting in the other room if family and friends get far too much for you. Just go on in, take a seat, relax for a few minutes, take some deep breaths, recenter yourself, get ready to go back out into, into the crowd of family and friends. Uh, unless you're like us and we really don't celebrate the... Um, the holidays too much. We have you know a couple of friends that will come over here. We'll go over to their house. Uh, so it's it's still really a small gathering. We used to have like an orphans Thanksgiving and an orphans Christmas where our friends who didn't have anywhere to go we would host them, and then people would drop by during the day. That got to be a little bit much for me. Uh, <laughs> I will I'll tell you that right now. Got to be a little bit much for my husband. He is definitely an introvert. And I'm kind of one of those extroverted introverts. So it's nice to be able to go into a room, look at a piece of art that is specifically made to help you decompress, to relax, to kind of get all that stress of the holidays and all those people in your house out of your system so you can get back, back to your guests and back to the celebrations. So if you want this painting, it is called Flying Spaghetti Monster. I see Karen is here. Hi, Karen. This is Flying Spaghetti Monster. If you would like it to bring peace, calm, joy, and a place to go escape and relax when your family and friends just get a little too much, let me know. It is 14 by 20 inches and it is $1,350 and that includes free shipping in the continental U.S. I bring it up closer here for you. As you can see, this is one where I have extra dots, extra colors of dots and the white dots against the 
colorful background. And that's the same colors in the dots as are in the background colors. Really ties the piece together. So if you love blues and greens, they really calm you down and they help soothe you, go ahead and let me know. Say, I want it in the comments and I will send you a message and we will get this to you before the winter holidays. I see Melissa Ann is here. Hello, hello. So this one again is Flank Spaghetti Monster. Put it here. All right. So <laughs> last week I got excited to paint for you and I jumped ahead a week for the monthly painting. So the December monthly painting we actually started last week in November. So this week, instead of jumping to the uh, painting the dots, I am going to do something different for you. Jennifer is here. Hello, hello. So I'm going to change my glasses because I need a little bit stronger reading glasses for what I'm going to be doing tonight. And then I will show you what I'm working on. Okay. Get this moved around, not knock anything over. That is the key to life, not knocking anything over. <laughs> okay, so this is another big mandala I am working on. It is 22 by 22 inches and the mandala motif itself is 18 inches around. It's the same size as the one I did with colored pencils. That took me a year to do off and on because I really wasn't focused on it. This one I've been finding some time to work on it during the weekends. So I wanted to share with you while I paint on this piece. Get it a little farther on down the road. It's done. I'm going to find the paintbrush that I want over here. Oh, there it is. That'll do. And this is gouache paint. Gouache is spelled G-O-U-A-C-H-E. And it is basically a, an opaque watercolor. You know, watercolor paints are transparent. This one is not. So this one, you can't see the paper through it. And I have... I have my whole little paint mix set up over here on my right hand side. And I did a color test earlier. That's what this is. And these are very peacocky colors. And I do use a very small brush because a lot of these design elements go down into a very fine little point. So I learned to work with gouache paints mm, about 23, 24 years ago, and I love them. They're amazing. The little jewel paintings that I have made in the past, they are made with gouache paint as well. And this is some of the stuff that I used to use when I was doing illuminated manuscript reproductions and those award certificates that I post sometimes that have a lot of, of um, Celtic knotwork on them. This is the paint I use for those. It dries pretty quickly, but it... <laughs> It's a lot more delicate than acrylic paint. You can't get it wet. You can't splash it with water. So if you, if you do, it'll run all over the place. It'll reconstitute. So these kind of paintings do have to be framed and they do need to go under protective glass. I had a friend who... <laughs> had a seven-year-old son at the time. He's now an adult, and I had done a, a word certificate for them. And they put it in their, the hallway 
right outside the bathroom. Well, what they hadn't counted on was kiddo getting a little um, bored one day and finding a squirt bottle. So they hadn't put a, a glass over it in the frame. And he, he sprayed it down with water and their uh, award certificate ran all over the place. There was ink and paint everywhere. I think some of the paint dripped off and never did come out of the carpet. <laughs> so this is one of those that's going to have to be protected. When it's done. If more people have joined us, I would like to say hello, hello. Thanks for joining me tonight. Since the phone is looking directly down at the painting, I can't really see who's joining me. And I'm not seeing comments tonight. So if you have comments or questions, again, just put them in the comments. And when I get done painting and with the live this evening, I do go back and watch it. So I will answer you at that point. Does anybody have anything fun planned for Christmas this year? I don't think we have actual plans yet. Oh, Studi Dog's coming in. Yeah, hi. Hi, I know. <laughs> Studio Dog Belle. She's so funny. This afternoon, we went outside to play. And we do this thing where, where I say, I'm going to get you when we play. We play chase. We play tag. And she did something new this afternoon. And mid-stride, she just stopped. And she looked back at me over her shoulder. I walked up behind her, and I kind of tickled her butt. Right on top by her tail. <laughs> she got all frisky like a puppy again. It was very cute. She's, I think, 13 at this point. So that was fun. It was super fun. She's a good girl. So what do you all have on your Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa wish list this year? Anything? World peace does not count because that's what I'm wishing for too. But that's not that's not a gift that your your friends and family can easily get you. <laughs> so what do you have on your wish list? My wish is, of course, that you get the, the painting that you want from me. So if you've got your eye on one, let me know. And if you've got your eye on one and you want your partner or spouse to purchase it for you, and you want me to work with them, I will gladly do that. I did that a couple years ago. 
one of my collectors wanted a certain piece and her spouse knew that she wanted a certain piece but she he didn't know which piece it was <laughs> so, so she just said here talk to Susan and she knows what which one I want so he and I talked and Got her the piece she wanted, sent it right off to her, and it got there before Christmas. Because they do celebrate Christmas. And I have plenty of time right now. If you want a piece this weekend, if you want to purchase a piece this weekend, I can get it to you before Christmas. I cannot guarantee that after the see the tenth or the fifteenth this year. I'm not sure what the post office is up to yet. But their cutoff date is usually usually between the tenth and the fifteenth. I have friends that uh used to live in Vegas. They ordered some pieces last year for their family who live all over the U.S. So instead of just sending it to them and then having them wrap everything and put it back in packages, um, I just charged them a little bit of extra per box and wrapped everything for them and stuck a little note in there and shipped it all off to their family and friends, so they got it before Christmas. It was wrapped and ready to go under the Christmas tree. So if you need something like that, I am very willing to help. Help surprise the people you love this year with some stress relieving art. So I know it may seem like I'm not painting that quickly tonight, but this is going very fast, which is nice. Uh, using paint like this goes a lot faster than using colored pencils. And they give very, very different outcomes. on the look of each piece. And if you're looking for a mandala that's a much smaller size, I do have some in the four to eight inch range. I have some in the kind of mid range in the 10 inch range, nine or 10 inch range as well. And the reason I'm not doing just like a swath off to the side and just paint all the greens and then all the blues and then all the purples in one section is because if I go around this way, I don't smear my hand through paint that may be out here in this area before, before it's dry. And gouache paint can get a little powdery sometimes. If you put too much water in it, the um, binding agent, which is gum arabic, kind of gets pulled out. So sometimes it gets a little smudgy, even when dry. 
If you take care of your paints and your brushes, they will take care of you. I am a firm believer of that. I have an acquaintance that will go buy brand new brushes every year because she doesn't clean them. Makes my teeth itch. These brushes I have had <laughs> since the beginning. So for 20 some odd years, they still have a nice sharp point. They still make a really good line. They still fill in great. So take care of your equipment. It'll take care of you. Be a good investment. I guess that's just like with everything else. If you're a little bit leery about investing in art, don't be. My husband and I have several pieces from friends of ours. And even if they're not well-known artists or if they're up-and-coming artists, that's kind of even better than buying some of the super famous artist art. Super famous artists, their art can run into the millions of dollars. Mine's not quite there yet, but I hope to get there someday. So an investment now in a piece of art that I have created Well, hopefully only go up in value pretty quickly here. Unlike an NFT. <laughs> Those kind of fizzled out. The market on those did. So I will stick to my physical pieces of art. I like to create. Creating art for me decompresses me. It, it makes the, the stress completely leave my head and my body. And I know that looking at my art has the same effect on other people as it has on me while I make it. And that is really magical. You know, I'm not one of these artists who wants to cause a whole lot of consternation when people look at my art. I, I don't want them to be confused. I, I want them to enjoy the experience. And I want them to think that they want a piece of my art in their homes. I have several pieces in mine. And I love it when friends come over because they always, <laughs> always comment, ooh, ooh, is that one of yours? And I get to say yes, and then I get to show it off. So if you're looking for a piece of art that is also very eye-catching. I can definitely help you with that too. Now what I cannot do at this point is do a commission for you before Christmas and have it delivered before Christmas. I, that's, that's not going to work. <laughs> There's too much that needs to happen before Christmas where I can get that piece out the door. But if you want to book a commission spot for January, like early January, then I can definitely get 
the painting to you for Valentine's Day. So if that is something you're interested in, just let me know. Send me a send me a message. And if you've never commissioned an artist before, it's really not that scary. We talk about art, what the, you know, the size you want, the colors you like, kind of one of the background patterns. I am not doing commissions this time on mandalas like this, but I am doing them on the um, the other paintings, like like the monthly painting. On the spiralism paintings, that's the word. If you want one out of my stock, I can go ahead and get that shipped for you right away. So it'll be there before Christmas. If you want a commission, it takes uh, three weeks to a month. And if it's really large, it might take a little longer than that. Earlier this evening, afternoon, I posted a poll here in the group. I <laughs> sometimes have a problem uh, keeping things straight in my head when I need to say to you during these lives at this 7 o'clock hour. So in the new year, I will be starting to have these a little bit earlier in the day, a little earlier in the evening, afternoon. So I put a poll up to see when your preferred time is. And of course you can always watch these in replay. I don't take them down, I keep them up. So if there's something you want to go back and rewatch, you absolutely can. But I would love for you to let me know if earlier in the day is a better time. Well, what, what time earlier in the day is a better time for you? And that's for everybody here in the group. I selected four time slots that I am really happy about. So I'm not going to be upset about, upset about any of them. I know some of you are looking at this pretty closely and you're thinking, oh my gosh, she's not painting exactly in the lines. There's a little bit of accidents. That's fine. I go back and fix that later. I just really want to get this base paint of base coat of paint down first, and then I can go in and tidy it up like I do in the middle here. you guys think about this so far? Looking good? If you like it, give me some hearts. If you love it and you think it's fire, give me some little heart emojis down in the comments. I decided to use some kind of peacocky colors for this one. 
It's a different color palette than the um, than the other large one, which is kind of pinks and peaches and blues and purples. I actually have based the color theme of this piece off of this part right here. When I drew that out, it looked very much like an elongated peacock feather. So I thought, yeah, well, that's what it wants to be. That's what we'll color it as. So that's why I have gone with this peacocky color the scheme theme. Oh, and there's one more thing I wanted to draw your attention to. Um, between Christmas and New Year's that, that week, I am going to be taking off from doing all this stuff. I'll probably do the live on that Wednesday. I'm really not expecting anyone to show up for it since it is during the holidays, but I'll do a short little live on that Wednesday, but I am taking off the rest of the time. So if you see some posts that pop up, I have them already scheduled to posts. That way I can go and do some other things that I have not done in a very long time. <laughs> and not have to worry about being on the computer all day long. So if you need me for something, message me and I will get back to you kind of in the late afternoon evenings or maybe the next day. But I'm pretty sure you'll be spending time with some people you love. And if you're not, and you're hiding from everybody you love, that's okay too. Absolutely okay. My mom is a hermit from way back when. <laughs> Actually, the family joke is that she's wanted to be a hermit since she was a little kid. And uh, when everything shut down from COVID, she's now in her 70s. So when everything shut down from COVID, she was living her best life. <laughs> Nobody was coming to the house. She didn't have to go anywhere. She got to be in her quilt room all day. She didn't want to talk to anybody. She didn't answer the phone. And I used to think that I was super outgoing. And I mostly am. But I have also realized that being a hermit sometimes is quite blissful. And I now understand what where my mom was coming from all those years. I got a lot of art done during COVID. I was in a creating frenzy and a flurry of creation. I'm still creating a little bit every day. My flurry has slowed down a little bit because I've got a lot to do now, but that's okay. As long as I get in some creative time, I'm pretty happy. How about you? What makes you happy? What centers you and brings you back to yourself after a tough day or stressful time?
gang, I think I am going to stop there. My eyes are getting a little, little tired. And I've kept it on for quite some time. So I will be going back through and re-watching this. But, turn this around. There I am. Oh, I see Jennifer's here. Hi, Jennifer. Um, okay, so let me change my glasses so I can read my notes and get you the right information. Okay, so uh, if you would like a piece of my art and you don't quite know which piece and you need, need some assistance looking through stuff, um, I will be glad to get on a creative consultation call with you and show you stuff like I show you here. Uh, if you're local and uh, we're friends, uh, if you want to come over and see the studio, all I ask is that you mask up. I see Michelle is here. Hello, hello. So if you want to look through my stash of art to get something for yourself for Christmas, you absolutely can, or for Hanukkah, or for Kwanzaa, or whatever holiday you are celebrating, for the New Year's, for Valentine's Day, whatever you, whatever you like. Um, just let me know. Send me a quick message over in Messenger. We'd like to remind you that next Wednesday we'll be doing Zen Stay Wednesday live again right here. And we will be putting the um, dots on the monthly painting. So at noon, the post will show up next Wednesday that says, hey, which one of these three um, dot designs do you want on the monthly painting? Oh, which I have right here. It is dry. Da -da -da -da. That's how it turned out. I think it is super cool. What do you think? Super cool? Yes? No? Sort of? I like it. I like it. But then again, you know, I grew up in the 80s. Teenager in the 80s. <laughs> so those colors make me happy. All right. That's going to be it for me. Uh, I'll see you all next Wednesday. I hope you have a really, really wonderful rest of your week and weekend. And I will see you later. Bye, everyone.